Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Rosa and on this channel, I create reseller type content. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the number one tool that I use to level up my business and I have been using it for the past five years. And recently, not that recently, but in 2024, they created an app and it is the most amazing thing one can ever create. I think 2024, might've been late 2023. But I wanna go ahead and talk about Prime Lister in this video and thank you so much for Prime Lister for sponsoring this video. Honestly, I use them even without the sponsor. Like I said, I have been using them for five years. This is an awesome collab because I already am so behind this app that I want to talk to you guys about it anyway. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. If you guys like it, like, subscribe, and let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is what is Prime Lister. If you don't know, Prime Lister is a Chrome extension originally where you can post all of your inventory. It's a one-top shop for all of your inventory and it also cross lists for you on multiple platforms. There is another part of Prime Lister, which I don't think I've talked about in my last Prime Lister video. And this one is the Prime Lister Poshmark automation tool. So this one's really special. This is my favorite thing ever because if it wasn't for this tool, I would honestly be like the worst mom. I'm not even kidding. If you don't know, I have a newborn and newborns are a lot of work. I'm going to be talking about both ways today to use the Poshmark automation tool. If you guys are interested in trying Prime Lister after this video, definitely make sure to check out my link down below. You will get 30% off of your first month as well as if you are brand new, you can go ahead and sign up and you'll also get 14 days free of Prime Lister without even having to put your credit card information in. At the end of your free trial, they'll ask you if you're interested in signing up and you will say yes because it's awesome. And that's literally how I signed up for it, to be honest. I signed up to it via a video like this because I was looking for something that I could use. And because this is ran on the cloud, y'all, I have so much more free time. Quarter four is upon us. I highly suggest getting some sort of inventory slash uh, automation tool. Prime Lister is the best one out there because it is via cloud. I keep saying that, but I don't think people sometimes don't understand that cloud is the best. You don't have to be on your computer like other bots. Other bots, you have to be on the computer. The screen has to be open and you need to be on Poshmark in order to do everything. This one, it's all in the back end. You don't have to worry about it. Set it and forget it. And I'm going to show you guys how. So let's go into the computer stuff first. I'm going to show you guys how to sign in. And then after, I'm going to go in with the phone to show you guys my favorite items to use from the Poshmark automation tool, as well as what is there to offer, what they offer us. So let's get right into it. Okay, and then also before I show you that, I forgot that I sh like decided to go and screenshot some of my stats with using Prime Lister. I'm gonna go over all of my numbers. I'm gonna show you guys my Poshmark stats, closet insights, and I'm gonna show you how I, make, how I make sales as well, okay, as how Prime Lister helps me with that. Okay, really quickly, I just wanted to go over my sales for the last month. This is my closet insights area in Poshmark, and I wanted to show you how I made most of my sales in the month of September. This is straight up from my closet insights, and as you can see, it's mostly offers to likers, y'all. The Prime Lister offers to likers tool is so amazing, it sends it for me, so that's how I'm able to make all of my sales most of the time. Okay, now we're going to go into the computer and the phone stuff, and let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the home page of Prime Lister. You're just going to go to primelister.com and the first thing you're going to do is install, well, first you're going to sign in and make an account. You're going to go to where it says cross-listing tool. You're going to click the four squares and go to your Prime Mark automation tool. And this is where you can edit everything Prime Lister will do for you in the background. Again, this is all in the cloud, so y'all don't have to be on your computer while doing this. Um, you obviously have to edit it on your computer or your phone, but then you can set it and forget it. And these are some of my stats on the Poshmark automation tool here. Then as you can see, this is my completed area and ongoing area. So right now it wasn't sharing. It shares my closet once an hour. We're going to go through that in a bit. You can also add another closet, but you just have to upgrade your subscription to do that. Most of us have one Poshmark closet, so it, it's included in the subscription. 
And these are all of my items. You can do all of your automations here as well. You don't have to go onto Poshmark to do anything. You can do it all through your Poshmark automation tool here. Super easy. These are all of my listings and it automated, it automatically updates it. And this is all of my automations that I use. We're going to go over them more in depth once I switch to the phone, which will be in like one second. Okay, so now we are on our phone. Prime Lister is going up and you can see the activity is practically exactly the same as it is on the computer. You can have your custom tasks as well as your automation. So we're going to go through all of that. I just want to go through all the tabs with you first. So you have your closet tab where you can add your closet via the phone as well. Automations, activities, and you can obviously go to your stats and stuff. So now we're going to go into the sharing option. And as you can see, you can pick the times that your closet is shared. So I pretty much do it once an hour. I do 550 items an hour because that's the max for me because I have about 400 and something listings right now. So it basically shares my closet once every single hour between I think I have it 8 a.m. maybe 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the rest of doesn't share for you because it, it, it's better to not have it go more than 10,000 shares a day. Then I also do a share of community. It's just good to have community shares. You can also do relisting as well. It's so easy. It delists and relists for you via Prime Lister. So I do recommend that as well if you like to delist and relist. Next, we're going to go into offers to likers. This is where I hang out the most. You can see my stats here. This is how I'm able to make all the sales that I make. I also adjust it on the weekends when I like to give 30 and 40% off and I just set it and forget it. Here are all of my party shares that I'm able to do. Um, and again, you can set all of your numbers as well. I also do return shares. So if anybody ever shares my closet, I do five return shares for them. And then I also do follow new closets and I follow 10 new closets a day. It's just a great way to keep the socialization on Poshmark because that's also important for the algorithm. Okay, so I wanted to highlight really quickly the listing page. As you can see, I have all of my items here on the listing page and you can work here and edit um, kind of like what you want to do with each item individually as well. You can also sort them by just in, just shared and old to new. So if you want to look at them specifically in a specific way, you can. You can also have um, some filters on as well. I'm going to show you in one second. These are all the filters that you can use and you can even do like listing age number of likes price things like that and work in bulk that way and then of course if you're looking for a specific item you can also use the search bar to do so and also you can click individual items and you can do price adjustments different types of adjustments on here as well on specific items so that is pretty much everything that i do in the app so these are all of my stats so far as you can see all those numbers prime lister has done that for me I haven't touched anything and then of course you can do your custom tasks which is price updates um, you can offer to like or something custom or relist okay so prime lister is also supported in Canada and the US so if you guys are in either one of those areas definitely make sure to check it out it'll uplift your business and free up more time to like go thrifting or if you're like me and a new mom be with my baby i don't know if you can hear her in the background but my husband is with her right now no financial risk either so you don't have to put your credit card information in it is a 14 day free trial and if you don't like it you don't have to move forward but if you do like it which i think you will like it because it's amazeballs you can sign up right after which you will get 30 percent off of your first month it's $25 a month, $20 a month if you sign up annually, 100% worth it. You're going to be getting your money back like double, triple, quadruple, quintuple. <laughs> You'll be getting your money back for sure. Honestly, I have no regrets. But yeah, so that was everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has definitely freed up a lot of my time when it comes to being a new mom. It is so tough being a new mom and trying to run a full-time business, it's really hard. So Prime Lister has made it so, so just easy. It's just easy, y'all. Like I, I 
I don't know. My life is so much easier now that I don't have to do all of the sharing by myself. I don't have to do any of the relisting on my own. Like I don't have to do any of that other stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like and subscribe and check out the Prime Lister link down below. You will not regret it. Okay, guys. Bye.